one draw, 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Having most recently defeated the previously unbeaten Giovanni Cabrera back in July. He is one of the most exciting fighters in the sport. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Mexico City, introducing Isaac Pepe. Isaac, you get another opportunity at a world title, this one at 140 pounds. What does this mean to you? Bueno, ¿qué significa para ti tener esta oportunidad en 140 libras de pelear por el título de la vida? Es una emoción muy grande y muy contento por esa segunda oportunidad y venimos a aprovecharla y a darle una gran pelea a toda la gente. It's a big certain chance, a very important certain chance. And I came to give the people what they want, a great fight, and I want to come out of the Rolly Romero has stated he's going to knock you out. How do you respond to that? Rolly Romero ha dicho que te quiere noquear, que te va a noquear. ¿Cómo le respondes a eso? Está bien, vengo preparado, no voy a subir amarrado de las manos, y vengo muy preparado para también venir a noquear a él. Don't worry, I'm not going to come out with my hands tied. I'm going to be ready for whatever he wants to do. One thing that people are wondering is how are you going to handle this new weight class? You're going up to 140, but what has that transition been like? How has camp been like knowing that you don't have to make the 135 pound limit? How has the transition been like knowing that you don't have to make the 135 pound limit? How has the transition been like knowing that you don't have to make the 135 eh, fue una adaptación muy buena con el equipo de trabajo, lo fuimos trabajando muy bien y nos sentimos muy fuertes para esta gran pelea. It's been great. I couldn't have a better team to work with. We have done an outstanding job getting ready and we're going to be in tip top shape for this fight. Well, speaking of tip top shape, we saw a photo that's circulating on social media. Is it fair to say that this is the best in shape you've ever been heading into a fight? Hablando de esta en forma física, se, hubo una foto en las redes sociales que circuló sin seguridad. ¿Se podría decir que estás en la mejor forma física de tu vida actualmente? Sí, totalmente. Ahora sí que se hizo un buen trabajo con el equipo de trabajo con el, en Ciudad de México, con el preparador, mi papá y el equipo de trabajo. Y esta ha sido una de las mejores, o si no es la mejor de, de toda la carrera. Absolutely. You could say that perhaps this has been the best training camp in my career. And that's all due to the work that I put in with my dad and the whole staff that has been here supporting me all the way. Now, because this is such a massive opportunity for you, your second go around, do you feel any additional pressure to go ahead and really go out there and put forth a definitive performance to leave no doubt in the eyes of the judges? Esta es una gran oportunidad para vos. La segunda oportunidad, si es una expresión de salir y noquear, de no depender de los jueces. No, de ninguna manera. Yo no trabajo bajo presión. Yo trabajo en lo que estuvimos haciendo en el campamento. Y esta noche nos venimos a nuestro lugar y a correr como campeones del mundo. I don't work under pressure. Pressure means nothing to me. I work based on, on the fundamentals that I have ever since we started training camp. I came here to be a world champion, period. Ali, what do you want to say to all the fans that are watching around the world and here in Las Vegas? Por último, ¿qué le gustaría que tú te decirle a la gente que está viendo en Las Vegas y en todo el mundo? ¿Qué mensaje le das? Que el próximo sábado 30 de marzo nos vamos a formar como campeones del mundo. Y que el video de mi parte les va a dar una gran pelea y que estoy yo y toda la gente estará ganador. We're going to give you a great fight in Saturday March 30th. I'm going to be a world champion. And the two winners of the night are going to be the fans that are right here. Ladies and gentlemen from Mexico City, is our Pitbull Cruz. And he's our Pitbull Cruz going to work out for all of you ahead of his showdown against Rolando Roly Romero. It is the co-main event of PBC pay-per-view on Pride Video. It comes your way at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific time. Tickets are available at axs.com or you can watch PBC pay-per-view on 
Starring video, Isaac Cruz, Rolando Rolly Romero for the WBA Super Lightweight Championship of the World. Cheesecake. Blueberry cheesecake. Oh, wow. Awesome. Yeah. 
It's a nice band to be able to indulge a little bit and not necessarily uh, suffer, you know, the typical tradition of having to cut weight in, in such a disciplined fashion. I mean, I was killing myself to that 35, like, real bad, you know, and it's been like a good man, you know? And even, I should say, when I first felt I was suffering at 35. So now, at, at 140, have you thought about, you know, if you're successful on Saturday against Isaac Cruz, about how long you want to remain here at 140 pounds? I want to go to 47. You want to go to 47? Yeah, that's where all the fun is. But uh, would you want to do that next, potentially? Yeah, I'm sure I'll go to 47. I'll stay at 40. I'll do whatever. So, you know, you know I ain't ducking anybody. I'm not ducking anyway. Well, right now on Saturday, you have Isaac Cruz in front of you. Do you believe that there's going to be that much of a size advantage in your favor because he's coming up here to super lightweight? He's a small guy. He's a small guy. I mean, he was big the other day, but he looks a little smaller now, so... Have you seen the photo that's been circulating online of, you know, they showed his physique, and he looks to be in the best shape of his career? See that photo? Um, uh, Saw Cruz. No. It's a photo of him certainly that shows his physique, and he looks in great shape. The reason why I ask you that is because it would appear that he's going to be trying to set forth a very high pace on Saturday. Your thoughts? Uh, everyone can think about that until they get punched in the face by me, right? Everyone goes down the second they get punched by me. Well, speaking of punching someone in the face, I don't want any part of that, but you have said that you are going to knock out the Zach Cruz, and you're going to do it in explosive fashion. Leonard Eller, being a promoter, believes the same way. Uh, why are you so confident that you're going to be the man to stop the Zach Cruz? I mean, this is the first motherfucker I don't got to go chase, so it's going to be a lot of fun. So do you think it'll be easier in the sense of that you can go ahead and, and take your time and, and set forth some traps? I heard you guys said traps. He said some super, he said some self help for him. Shit. I mean, let me ask you this. What do you think he's gonna do? You think he's gonna go out there and try to box thinking he's fluid or something? No. Or is he gonna come in head first like he always does? It's gonna be aggression from the opening part of the belt. Okay, so I don't got set traps. He's already set up. Being a part of the first PBC pay-per-view on Prime Card, what does that mean to you? I mean, it's a blessing, you know, I, mean, I never thought as a kid I'd be back by the biggest company in the world. Now, people want to know, what goes through the mind of Rolando Rolly Romero during fight week? You are a unique personality, you beat to your own drum, what's going through the mind of Rolly? You guys really want to know that? Well, as long as it's PG, this is, you know, there's a family audience here. Uh, I went to wrestling like, like at least 40 times today. So you have your own way of cutting weight. Well, with that, we will, what do you want to tell the fans out there as they get ready to watch you fight on Saturday? I don't, I don't like water no more. Okay, well, you don't like water. So that's what Rolly Romero is saying. Good luck to you, Rolly. We look forward to talking with you tomorrow during the press conference and seeing you at the way and then subsequently on fight night. Of course. I'll see you guys uh, well, all week. Ladies and gentlemen, Rolando Rolly Romero, round of applause for the WBA Super Lightweight Champion of the World. We have the champ in the ring working out, doing a little shadow boxing for the fans, putting on a show, and he's always dripped out incredibly. I love that chain that he has. That's, uh, that means he's making some pretty good uh, money there, Leonard, I would have to say. The man is doing well. Here's Rolando Roy Romero taking off the chains tonight. Now you know it's getting serious.
bracelets on Logan going ahead and doing some shadow boxing is now he will put on his customary championship chain that he has. Well, he has to bring it back, really. I, I love that chain, by the way. Let's take a look at that. This is unbelievable. If we can get a better look at that, you want to hold that? I don't like to hold another man's jewelry, but take a look at that. Uh, tell us and, and describe this piece, Willie. I mean, it's my belt. <laughs> so when you wear that on, you know, on a chain and you wear it around your neck, is that extra motivation for you uh, when you're in the gym and preparing, knowing what you have to defend? And if this shit's your motivation, you shouldn't be doing this sport. So last May, when you became world champion, uh, what did that moment mean to you and how much has it changed your life? I mean, it meant the world to me. I mean, everyone dreams to become champion, no? In boxing. But, I mean, the best still to come. So, we're still aiming for that. So, assuming everything goes your way on Saturday, have there been any names that you thought of that you'd like to share the ring with? I mean, you mentioned Uncle Wood up to 47 or anything along those lines. Anybody particular or someone that you would like to uh, share the ring with? We got a firework fight on Saturday. You, you guys want to talk about other things? No. You guys are going to see Saturday is going to be an explosion. It's going to be, it's going to be I'll be honest, the most entertaining fight this year. Really? Of the year? Of the year, by far. By far? It's an explosion. All right. Well, you heard it from Rolando Rolly Romero predicting the fight of the year against Isaac Pitbull Cruz. Smiling and enjoying fight week. Let's give it up. For Rolando Roly Romero, ladies and gentlemen. So probably enjoying take photos for the meet that is assembled over the world. We have media literally from all parts of the globe, from Australia, obviously, for the Tim Zoo Michael Zarafa connection from Mexico. The thought Pitbull Cruise and Boxing Media from around the globe that want to cover this loaded night of boxing full world championship fight a year against Erickson Lubin. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the towering inferno, Sebastian Fundura. Fighting Sergey Bogachuk, but instead Keith Thurman unable to fight. You get the call. How long did it take for you to say yes when they said you want to make a bet against Tim Zhu? It took us like a millisecond. We were ready for that opportunity. You know, we were ready fighting for the WBC bacon. Uh, they threw in the WBO. But it was an opportunity we couldn't pass over. In terms of you and, and this, a, a huge opportunity. A Tim Zhu, you're going to have. A 9-inch height advantage, the largest height difference in a non-heavyweight championship fight. What does that mean to you? That's just an everyday thing for me, you know. I'm always taller than everybody, so this is just another day of work. In terms of preparation, um, what was it like being able to go from Bohachuk to now Tim Zhu? They're both similar, you know. Uh, Bohachuk being a little bit taller, of course, but uh, other than that, we have a, a pressure, hard hit, orthodox fighter in Tim Zhu, the same with Bohachuk. Does it make any difference? I mean, you've been in main events before, but now T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, does it have any extra added meaning to you? This is a big fight. You know, this is the first for Andrews to find video working with PBC, so this is going to be the opener. The opener for, for boxing in the, the future. You know, this is a streaming platform as well, so this is very big. T-Mobile, Las Vegas, the fighting capital of the world. This is where I stamp uh, the start of my legacy. The first, the last fight that you had did not go your way. How much did you learn from that? More of a learning experience than was a, a, a reminder. You can have to play the sport, you can make mistakes, and then if you do, you pay for it. You 
believe that there's going to be at some point where you guys are going to be standing in the center of this ring and just go toe to toe at T-Mobile Arena? Of course, of course. This is a unified uh, 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 fight at 154. This is the best fight at 154. This is going to crown the new king of 154. Now, there has been talk that Terrence Crawford, from what we hear with the WBO, has been, you know, the number one mandatory at 154 if he wants to come up to this weight class. That would mean that Tim Zhu is victorious, and he might be in line to fight Terrence Crawford. Do you think that he could be overlooking you? Of course, you know, I'm, I don't really care what Tim Zhu does. I'm focused on this guy right here. This is how I become a world champion. What would it mean for you to realize a lifelong dream? Your sister's a world champion, but to go ahead and be a world champion and when you hear and the new. This yeah, is, this is a dream come true. The fact that I'm fighting on a stage like this, right an event like this, right this right is right a main event in Las Vegas team over in it, this is a dream come true. What does your father and your entire family mean to you? Your father obviously is your trainer and he will be leading you in a battle on Saturday. This is big, this is big. My father got his first world champion with my sister like six months ago. We're gonna do it again this Saturday. Uh, this is he's gonna be coach of the year for, in my eyes, of course. And also, your promoter Samson Lukwitz, How much of a you know him being such a guiding factor in your career? Uh, he's been telling me over and over again when we become world champion, that's just gonna get in the Hall of Fame this Saturday. Get ready, Samson. You're gonna be inducted to the Hall of Fame. Samson, when you hear that that he's going to scam your induction to the Hall of Fame, what's your response? <laughs> Listen, I, I'm so happy, and uh, Sebastian Fundora, as his family, is my family. We're going to my kitchen, and I go to his kitchen, so we have a special relation. And I'm so happy for this opportunity. By the way, he said that it took him two seconds to take the fight. It's not, it's not true. It took one second. One second. <laughs> Sebastian will allow you to work out finally. What can all the fans expect on Saturday when you collide against Tim Zhu? March 30th, uh, tune in. It's going to be a great fight. We're going to have another Fedora Contest champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tower Inferno, Sebastian Fundora working out here in Las Vegas ahead of the showdown against Tim Zhu, the man of that PBC pay per view on Prime Video.
I captured two world championships and following the footsteps of his sister, Gabriela Fundora, who became a world champion six months ago, they're trained under the guidance of their father, Freddy Fundora, who is in the ring as well, an outstanding trainer. We have the Tower Inferno, Sebastian Fundora, representing Coachella, California. And it is great to see Sebastian Fundora. Sebastian, great to see you. Good luck on Saturday. And uh, thank you for everybody that came out, all the Vegas fans, all the fans we got in front of all the Mexican fans, all the Australian fans. Uh, tune in for a great fight, um, the 30th of March. Do what he tells you. Sebastian Fundora, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we appreciate him working out. For all the fans and those watching around the world on the BBC YouTube page, six foot six, looking to impose his will upon Australia's Tim Zhu on Saturday. Well, as you see, Sebastian Fundora taking photos for the media and the fans here at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, our proud host hotel. The fight goes down on Saturday, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific Time, T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas. But we want to turn our attention. Las Vegas, this man with the record of 24 wins, no losses, 17 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the son of the Hall of Famer, Kostya Zhu. Last year in 2023, what an impressive win. Victories over Carlos Ocampo, Tony Harrison, and Brian Mendoza. He is the reigning and defending WBO Super Welterweight Champion of the World and looks to add the WBC Super Welterweight Championship to his collection. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Australia's boxing superstar. Here is the champion, the undefeated, Tim C Tim, you've been talking about you are box office in Australia. Thousands of fans watched you beat the likes of Carlos Ocampo, Brian Mendoza, Tony Harrison. But you always said, in the midst of all that, I love my home country, but I want to fight in Las Vegas. Not only you're fighting here in Las Vegas, but your main event team. Now that it's here, what's going through your mind? You know what? It's time to become a, a global star now. Uh, take over. Another continent, another, I feel, you know, I feel at home, I feel this is where I belong, you know, looking at all these posters, this is, this is where I've always been uh, dreaming about, so I feel, I feel at peace. Do you feel that you training here in Las Vegas has made the transition easier? Oh, look, there's, for sure you get a, a lot of experience here, you know, being based already, like, well, my fourth fight, uh, fourth prep here, so, uh, I'm quite used to everything, I'm quite used to the conditions, so everything's, everything's according to plan. The one item that, you know, I am very impressed by is that you are a throwback fighter. Originally, your adversary was supposed to be Keith Thurman. He got injured, therefore insert Sebastian Fundora. He agreed immediately, and I feel like it didn't miss a beat for you to say, no matter who's in front of me, I want to fight on March 30th. I live by that word, you know, never retreat. I would never, I fear no one, you know, I'll go into any fight. Doesn't matter, two weeks, two week notice, 12 days, tall guy, whoever they put in front of me, man, just gonna adapt, change, and uh, take over. Well, speaking of the height difference, the nine inch height advantage in favor of your opponent, Sebastian Fundora, that is the largest height difference in non heavyweight history. How are you prepared to handle that? Look, Mike Tyson did a lot of things in his in his prime, so uh, hopefully I can uh, do a Mike Tyson on him. <laughs> also, not only, but you're defending your world championship, you have an opportunity to collect yet another world title. Does that add any extra meaning? Yeah, you know what? It's a, it's another opportunity to for greatness as well. Uh, in the record books will be the second unified family in the world to, to ever be in this position. So uh, for me, there's so much on the line, there's so much at stake. It's just uh, a wonderful time to be alive. 
Well, talk about a wonderful time for Australian boxing in the sense that, you know, you also have Michael Zarafa at 160. He'll be the second fight in the pay-per-view, looking to become a world champion. You obviously defending your world title as well, but, I mean, how significant is this for Australian boxing here in Las Vegas? Yeah, I think it's great. You know, uh, both of us coming in and, uh, you know, we're, we're both going for, for world titles and, and it's a good time for Aussie boxing. Right now it's hot, red hot. Is it one thing for you not to just win, but to win in convincing fashion on Saturday? It's the only way. In convincing fashion, what I've always done. So, the WBO has instituted Terence Crawford as the number one mandatory contender. With that potentially looming, how difficult is it to not sort of see that there could be bigger blockbuster fights on the way, assuming you get your hand raised on Saturday against Sebastian Fundora? Yeah, I guess this is the drive, you know, you drive every day to that certain position where you want to fight for the for the very, very top uh, pound for pound list, I guess, you know, and uh, yeah, the, the, end, the opportunities are endless after this, but I'm solely focused right now, zoned in for, for one, one job ahead. Well, Sebastian Fundora is known as a very high contact, a very busy fighter. He loves to mix it up. Are you expecting a physically taxing, grueling fight? This will be a classic, you know, like when we're talking about classics, something that's going to be replayed forever, I'm hoping it's going to be one of those. Leading off PBC's Voyage, PBC pay-per-view on Prime Video, and you are the headliner, you know, how do you feel with that? History, history right there, you know, I wasn't going to back out and, 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 and not, not let this opportunity just pass me. Uh, this is a big moment uh, and I'm glad to be doing it with PBC on board and everyone for making this happen. How much are you trying to enjoy fight week but also you know remain focused on the task at hand? You know you're cutting weight and you're doing all your fight week ritual that you have to do in order to get ready to step inside the ring on Saturday. Well this is another day in the office, about 24 times in the pro ranks. This is just the uh, 25th time. And this time it's a bit more enjoyable, I'm relaxed, uh, I'm focused right now, I'm an eagle. Flying around, you know, I'm going to be uh, going for that price soon. Alright, so on Saturday night, how is it going down, Tim? One way, KO. A knockout being predicted by Tim Zhu. Give it up for Australia's own, the WBL Super Welterweight Champion of the World, Tim Zhu, ladies and gentlemen. He will take photos inside the ring and Make sure to get your camera phones out and whatever you need to get this photo of Tim Zoom, who will be defending his championship against Sebastian Fundora, predicting a knockout against the towering Inferno. Tim Zoom looks to remain undefeated. It is PBC pay-per-view on Prime Video. Do not miss it. We are kicking off Fight Week with the Bang here in Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us for the Grand Arrivals and the Media Workouts. We look forward to talking with you tomorrow during the press conference where you are here from all the fighters on behalf of Tim Zhu and all the fighters. I'm Ray Forrest saying so long. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Also, do not forget Saturday as the action gets going, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific time from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas. It is PBC Pay-Per-View on Prime Video.